Uh oh. If you ever participated in a engagement group, or if you've ever used the bot, you might be in trouble, my friends. But uh, let's roll this thing up. Let's talk about this latest press release from Instagram um, that they just released. Actually, they released it about two weeks ago, but guess what? We just been sleeping. What should I say? It just went over my head. Anyway, if you go to the Instagram press site, they have this new release called uh, Introducing New Authenticity Measures on instagram the smart kids among you are already crapping their pants right now i'm pretty sure but let's go over this thing what it means for instagram what it means for you if you've participated in engagement groups if you get one of these bands that they're talking about inside there or one of these verifications what you can do against it and yeah just the usual uh, commentary from me anyway they say we want the content you see on instagram to be authentic and guess what i always say and to come from real people no bots or others trying to mislead you guess what i always try to say you know you don't want to listen it seems like you don't want to listen starting today we will begin asking people to confirm who's behind an account when we see a pattern of potential inauthentic behavior uh-oh, uh-oh, I know. The red lights are going on. 90% of you guys already, probably. By prompting the people behind accounts to confirm their information, we will be able to better understand when accounts are attempting to mislead their followers, hold them accountable, and keep our community safe. We will look at a range of signals to determine if an account holder needs to confirm their information. We want to be clear that this change will apply to only a small number of our community. Most people will not be affected. This includes accounts potentially engaged in co coordinated and authentic behavior. We're going to talk about this in a second, what exactly that means. Or when we see the majority of somebody's followers are in a different country to their location. Or if we find signs of automation, such as bot accounts, for example. If we see signs of potential in inauthentic activity, we will require the account holder to confirm who they are. And once an account holder verifies their information, their account will function as usual unless we have reasons to investigate further. And now comes even something more interesting. They say IDs will be stored securely and deleted within 30 days once our re review is completed. Well... We can't be sure about that, Instagram, considering your track log and won't be shared on the person's profile as pseudonymity is still an important part of Instagram. Oh, there you go. This is a part, a big part where they are actually different from Facebook. But here is the here is the very, 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 very interesting part about this whole thing. If an account chooses not to confirm their information, their content may receive reduced distribution or the account may be disabled blah 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 visit the help center we're going to talk about this but reduced distribution my friends you know what this is the shadow ban aka uh, mosiri saying no the shadow ban is not a thing we don't do this we've never heard about reducing somebody's engagement stats reducing somebody's reach aka reducing somebody's distribution who's lying who's lying have you been lying before is that a new thing that has just been introduced right now or not but um, yeah i'm getting sidetracked here anyway let's talk about this who will be affected by this thing first of all people obviously using bots to inflate their engagement stats to use automation you know for example the follow and follow automation or a potential inauthentic activity what is that? Engagement groups, DM groups, Telegram groups. You know, there's always people asking me, are engagement groups, Telegram groups, DM groups, are they bad or not for your engagement? They are bad. I have made some videos about them. I will continue to make videos about why they're bad and how they're bad because, yeah, there's so many of you new people coming in every, every day, actually, and you guys just don't know about it. Anyway. Thanks for subscribing, by the way. Now, what's going to happen if you're one? Let's just say you're one of those people who was in a bot, who's used a bot or something like this. Um, you know, you're probably going to get greeted with some message saying, hey, you have to verify yourself. We have to know who you are. Are you a real person? Are you a bot or are you a spammer or not? And you're going to have to upload your um, ID. You know, for example, if it's it's not it's not a new thing for Instagram to actually ask for ID. They say if you won't do this or if you don't provide sufficient identification for you. Um, either you will get shadow banned or you won't be able to log back into your account, meaning you just get banned straight up and all of your account data might be deleted. Wow, that's a nice, that's nice news for today, huh? Now here's the list of IDs that uh, Instagram is actually accepting. A birth certificate, driver's license, marriage certificate, official name change paperwork. Or if you don't have one of these where there's a photo inside, you can send them two 
without a photo or something like this, library card, transit, bank statement, magazine subscription <laughs> stuff, you know, yearbook photo, even that, the attentive spammer will find a million of ways to actually check that system, but I'm not gonna, but uh, yeah, what do I think about that? First of all, I think it's okay. You know, I think it's not a bad thing per se, because, uh, you know, obviously with, with all these fake news spreading around like wildfire and stuff like this, not so, not so bad to be honest. But then again, they say you're not allowed to digitally modify or hide information. So for example, if you don't, you, let's say you don't have a birth certificate or let's just say you don't have a driver's license or a passport or something where you're like, I don't want to show them. I don't want to show Facebook AKA the, the company that actually has a massive privacy leak once per year and nobody bats an eye. If you don't want to send them this, you know, show send them the, your bank statement and you're not allowed to, dig, to you know, black stuff out. Ah, I'm not sure how I think about that. But uh, in general, I think it's a, it's a good thing what they're doing. Because they've made some things, they figured out, and I think this was, I think the whole COVID situation and the whole, uh, election coming up in in the u.s uh, you know and there's so many fake news things there's been a lot of networks uh, political networks that were spreading some fake news have been busted actually uh, in the past few months some from uh, you know brazil ukraine my friends <laughs> Privet. i think that that was the starting point of why they do this but then they were like well you know we can actually use this thing obviously because they want to get rid of bots also obviously because of the reels feature because of the monetization that's been coming up or that is going to come up very soon they just want to have a clean slate they just want to get rid of all those fake people and stuff like this so that they can actually make their platform stronger than ever especially in terms of monetization especially in terms of yeah building this big social media hub that they're planning to do we talk about it in some video now i scan through some more articles concerning that first of all um Apparently, Facebook and Instagram really work closely together on this. This guy is actually the head of cybersecurity policy. This guy, this is the guy who actually is the root of all evil. No, actually the root of all, however you might see that, either good or evil. And um, actually, it looks kind of evil here. But um, not that there's anything wrong with that YouTube algorithm, okay? But um, he actually looks evil in kind of most most screen grabs that I take. But then again, I look drunk on all screen grabs. So you know, there's that. And basically I, I watched this video, I, I did some research and basically what they have going on is two different steps of figuring out whether somebody's a faker or not, somebody used a bot or not. There's one, the automated process where he said, uh, you know, basically the algorithms, what I always teach, what I teach in my Instagram black file, for example, and what I teach in the free training down below that you should watch about the algorithm, how the penalty algorithm tracks, whether somebody is a bot or a scammer, a spammer or something like this, then they get some flags and depending on how many flags they get, um, they get, you know, either some repercussions, some shadow bans or anything, or this new thing, um, yeah, this, this pop-up or something that's gonna happen. And the second part, if either, you, they, the automated system can't group this together into one conclusive statement, or like they said, if they have reason to investigate further, they're gonna be sent to a team of people. Um, this is supposed to be the team, according to this video. I think it's just stock video of some Facebook employees. But uh, could be, this is the team <laughs> actually checking, and they, I'm, I'm pretty sure they have access to whatever you do. They can see whatever you do on Instagram. They, they have access to a whole range of uh, metrics that they can use against you. So, what can you learn from that? Staying real, staying authentic, staying organic is the, the way to go you know, 2020 onwards. And, you know, it just happens that I have a very, very extensive training about growing on Instagram, about monetizing your Instagram, about the Instagram algorithm, about growing organically on Instagram, using exactly what they want. Um, down below, there's a, a free training, like I said. And um, yeah, I just wanted to update you on, on, on these things because yeah, some of you guys might get hit up with some flags, might get hit up with this new thing. If this whole thing comes up for you, you know, don't lose your nerves. It's all right. You know, if you want to just verify your profile, don't lie. You know, like they said, don't black something out. Don't, you know, just send them your uh, driver's license or something, just a scan or something. It should be fine as long as you stop with this behavior later on. Okay. If you don't stop, huh, 
you're gonna get at least a shadow ban. And here's the thing, what might be even good for all of you botters, engagement groupers who are like, ah, my engagement is so low. Could be if you get hit with this verification thing and you verify your profile and you start from now on, start to be a good kid, stopping all the strange behavior. Could be that your shadow ban is gonna be lifted. You know, lift it for good. Right now, this is just pure speculation on my side, but it would actually make a lot of sense. Anyway, I just wanted to update you on that. And um, yeah, I'll see you in a couple of days. We're gonna talk about the engagement drops that have been happening here on Instagram. Uh, I get, usually I get messages like this every day, but I've been getting way, way more messages lately about people being in a bad engagement drop. So we're gonna investigate that. And uh, yeah, other than that, I'm going to see you in one of the live streams. And um, yeah, my name is Dominic. Thanks a lot, Dominators. We're going to see each other. Yeah, bye.